Hi, welcome to the world according to Larry. I have a box from GM Parts Direct that should contain my illuminated bow tie, and then I'm going to proceed to install that on the car today. First step, remove the fasteners and push retainer in order to remove the front fascia support. So I got my torque wrench here. Pull these out.
This emblem's like right here. There it is, I'm sweating. So I tried and I tried and I pried and I pried, tried and pried, and ultimately I switched to my metal tool. I got, got this tab loose. I pried, so I pried from the inside, right? So I jammed this under here. And I tried and I tried loosening those other haps, uh, latches from the inside, no luck. So I eventually grew tired and pulled this out, put the metal pry tool in. Basically, I broke all the tabs. That was awesome. Nope, I didn't. I broke the two end tabs. The two middle ones are still there. There's two rings there. And it says maximum hole size, pointing to the outer ring. So let's measure that. That looks like an inch and seven eighths. Yeah. Inch and three quarters being desirable. See that? You know what? I'm going to do a pilot hole. Right back. me to put this in and then attach the wire. I think it's probably easier to attach the wire now and then snake the wire through there. So that's what I'm going to do.
upside down. You don't want to do that. But there's that harness. So this tape marker, this right here, needs to be 50 millimeters ahead of that. Fifty millimeters is five centimeters, about two inches. But I got a tape measure. Oak leaf. I bought this car in May. saying there's more there's one right there but the headlights are right here so we don't really need to go past this one to find out what we're looking for
maybe I can see. this out to this level. Right. right there is a plug. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm going to give it a shot. The fits and fits. But I know there's a safety clip on it because on the harness, Except that, yeah, I just pulled it out. So, I felt this, pulled that, and yeah. Okay, push down here. Okay, so I've been searching, searching and searching for where to plug this in. You do not have to jack up your car. I did find what I think I'm looking for. The truth will be when I plug this in, does it fit? And then two, um, start the car and and see whether or not the, the bow tie comes on. All right, let me show you where it's at. So I pulled this fabric out up to here, right there. All right, that's about one o'clock in the wheel well, maybe one thirty. There's a safety tab on top, I pulled that back. So now I'm gonna depress and pull. That does not look like the plug that I have. I don't think that's the right one. Damn it. Uh, that is way too big. It's going to be the bad light itself. Okay. Found it. Right here. See this? Let's see if I can get some light in here. Right? That's what I was looking for. Behind this floppy thing. what that is anyways this is at three o'clock in the wheel all right now I gotta find my wires right here I don't know that they're gonna make it I need a little more room If I had taken the wheel off, this would have been so much easier. I didn't feel like doing it at the time. Watching this video, I sorely regret that. Where's the wires? Here we are. Really, mostly by feel. I can't see anything I'm doing. Now, well, if you can see anything, you're in a better spot than me. Okay. Let's find that factory wire. Right there. Factory wire, harness.
Mosquitoes are starting to come out. No safety clip. bow tie on the front. You gonna plug it back in? Yep. S see the boat? You know what the bow tie is? Oh, it's on the other side. No, it's right in the front. It's that black thing. Okay. They light up? Oh, uh, no. The front emblem? Yeah. yeah. It looks kind of blue. But I can't. I can't. You gotta see my first car. There was an engine this big in there. I just want to show my hands. Today is Tuesday night. Uh, I did that install on Sunday night. And I have quite a few wounds. Uh, right here. Also one here. The point being is that those are some very tight spaces. It was actually an easy install had I known what I was doing. Hopefully this video helps you get this done a lot faster than I did. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out where the connections were, how to pull that emblem off, and how to put it all together. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, I would recommend using two people to take that fascia off the front and putting it back on. Otherwise, this is a one-person install. Really, there's no room for anyone else. If you have a a friend or a girlfriend with very small hands, maybe they... The front portion of the hood pulls away pretty easily when you have two people pulling on it. It doesn't break. It's very flexible. Um, but when you're trying to do it by yourself, it is really a cumbersome task. So, hopefully this video helped. You've been experiencing the world according to Larry. And I'm Larry. And this is my world. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like it, comment, share it, and I appreciate if you do subscribe. Until then, I'm in my world. <laughs>